Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Advanced Office Automation and today we have uh, a special tool and this tool actually is uh, for data collection from Excel as you mentioned there is uh, a previous video that I have made on Excel data collection but on that video actually I used VBA but this time I created this tool from the scratch in order to make things faster and not to rely on VBA as it is kind of outdated. So in our tool today, I'll show you how to use it to collect data. So mostly the case that uh, we can use this uh, tool for is that we have uh, a lot of data we have like uh, individual forms uh, something similar to this one for example we have a kind of uh, a form and this form actually has kind of uh, data and you want to collect that for example employee name position department employee number and so on from like different cells and you have for example 10 20 100 1000 100,000 uh, file similar to this one and you want to collect data in order to make them like in, in one uh, one draw for each employee or collect them in a kind of uh, a database file so in order to do this uh, we can actually start adding files for example they are all similar forms to the ones that we uh, saw now so we just need to select it and once you select it, it will uh, add the files that you selected. You can actually add files from multiple folders, different folders. Like it is not necessary. Just you can keep adding uh, one after one and so on. And they will be added uh, at the end. So this is for uh, the list. Of the files and it will show you how many files you selected actually uh, second thing uh, that where from where like uh, we want to collect the data like should I take the first uh, sheet the active one and the active sheet means that when you open the file the sheet that you find opened like this this is the active sheet if you have another sheet but you only see this one this is actually 2019 2020 this is the active sheet to uh, sheet one is not active actually so this is cannot be considered the active sheet so the first sheet only this means that you you left it so this is for uh like sheet one it will not be considered only the active sheet so the second option we have all sheets this means that uh the tool will start uh looking up the all the, the values in all the sheets and collect them one by one from all the sheets and inside uh, uh, the file regardless of the name like whatever name the sheet has it it will be considered in, in our collection uh, second two options actually they are similar and one by exact sheet name just like uh, exactly the name uh, for example you have to be careful uh, for uh, the name that you are entering because this is a case sensitive so we have like sheet one so this will collect data from uh, sheet one only and uh, not the other sheets so for example sheet three this is will collect data from sheet one, sheet three, or for example, you have a sheet, for example, for it. It will collect uh, from the sheets that they have these names. So this is the exact name. Uh, the sheets name that match uh, regular expression patterns. This means something like white card. So instead of using an exact name let's say that you have uh, a bunch of sheets that they like start with sheet and there is like a number like one two three four but you don't know the number actually what it is and it will be so tedious to add them one by one 
So in order to make uh, an expression for this, you can actually uh, add something like that. So this means it will match any sheet that has a sheet uh, name, or this word in it. And this is will match any number uh, besides the sheet. So if we have a match for this pattern, uh, then the sheet will be considered in our data collection process. So this is for uh, the sheet. Uh, the data collection uh, settings, actually, you will provide uh, three uh, pieces of information. Uh, the first one is the column name, and this actually is the first one and second one are just for uh, like referencing. Like we won't use them in our uh, file creation or anything. It, they are just references for you. For example, when you move this to an Excel file, you can remember what is the column name, what is the column letter, and which letter you want to put it. But uh, when we generate this one, actually uh not the header or the column letter will affect anything but uh there is uh one thing that you have to consider that you cannot add two columns uh in the same uh file for example you cannot say for example i will add a uh, name and this should be in column a and it takes from the cell B3, for example. And you have, for example, a uh, department. And this will be in column A and takes from cell C3. This is actually cannot be added. So if you try to add, it will tell you that the column name should be uh, one to three letters combination like AB or ABC. Uh, no duplicate uh, entries allowed. You have to uh, make sure that uh, this one is not duplicate because you actually have one column in Excel. And uh, even if we are not going to use it, but it is also necessary to uh, generate the header and the output file. So once you you make you need to make sure that you don't have duplicates in the main file column. But actually, the cell can be actually anything like. You can say, for example, A, and this is C, and here from C3. So this is okay to add uh, from the same. Uh, so, so uh, it is up to you. But uh, these ones actually, the first and second, will be used for uh, referencing, and I will show this uh, later. So instead of adding this manually, as I mentioned, from adding values or pressing enter in the last cell, you can actually load, uh, load this uh, one from files. So for example, we have a test file here. And this test file, I will show you how it looks. It is actually a file that has header name exactly and column value and cell value so these are the values some of them we have like empty this is will not be considered you have to make sure that it is filled and we have actually the du duplicate entries like we have b c e and we have b c e f i h so these ones actually will not be considered with us they will be uh like I think this one should be taken. So we will see how this will be loaded in our tool. So you just select the sheet, press open, and wait for a while. So as I mentioned, it will show you what uh, invalid values were excluded from the list. So it will show you that this is like name, positions, and so on. So you have to keep them with the same sequence like header name uh column letter and then the cell value that you want to collect the data from so this is for uh, all the cells that we want to collect from our files and i will choose for example the active sheet for now and here's the last part actually is just about 
saving this file. So the result actually of this data collection will be saved in a CSV file. And why CSV? Because it supports a lot of uh, like rows and columns. It has like no limit. Uh, mostly, it, it depends on your disk and RAM and other uh, like specifications. But uh, it is not like Excel. So if I uh, made this as a VBA, in the VBA actually, uh, one, we are like, uh, have an Excel. So we will fill that Excel one with uh, like the data. So we have actually one million uh, rows. So it is just so limited. But this one, let's say you have like two million, three million rows. So they will be collected actually without any problem. And here is a, a separator like and CSV means a comma separated uh, value or file. So you have, uh, you will find that there is a comma and this is actually the default. But if you prefer to use another uh, like uh, separator, like for example, kind of uh, that's a standing slash or uh, anything similar. It will be added, but for now we will use the default and here we'll ask you, uh, where you want to, uh, save this one. So I will save it in this, uh, file. I'll call it, uh, data collection results for output. So we just save and you will see it here. So just, uh, the remaining things that we want. Uh, to do uh, is to collect the data so we can start collecting and it will start collecting the data as you see and it will show you that the task uh, has ended successfully this means that there were uh, no errors in our collection so let's see actually uh, the file that we uh, oh is this one sorry I saved it in another uh, folder, not this one. Okay, let's look at uh, the file from the inside. And let's see what it is. So this is actually a CSV file. And as I told you, this will be used as references, like B, name, B3, uh, column C, position, B5, and column uh, A, E, department, uh, it collects from B7 and so on. So this actually will be uh, used as the header. And the remaining values, they are actually uh, the real values that we collected from uh, the files that we have. This is actually can be opened in Excel. And it can be opened also in like Notepad, which is just uh, uh, like values that they are uh, separated by comma as we determine so these are mostly uh, all the features uh, the last but not uh, the least that uh, let's say that you have some values that you added but you forgot to add for example in the excel file so you can actually save uh, settings of that uh, form so it will ask you then you will say yes, and this means that uh, your settings uh, like have been saved in a file. This is actually uh, the file that uh, will have the settings. So next time, if if you uh, close this one and you open it, and then you have to uh, load from loads of form settings and then it will ask you then you say yes and only the sheets uh, list and uh, the values uh, column name and file column cell value they will be saved uh, anything in the files list this is would not be saved and the setting for uh, the saving file so you have actually to choose uh, the folders that you want to save each time and also um, the list uh, of the files that you want to collect the data from. So this is all for now.
I hope that uh, you find this tool uh, useful. And if you found this video uh, and the tool useful, please share, uh, like, and subscribe because this will help me to release uh, more tools. So I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.